we're gonna put a Sparco in the Audi. Got a Sparco Pro 2000. It was a friend of mine gave us the seat. And then I've just got some seat mounts and rails. There's an Australian supplier who does one for the, it fits the Golf Mark 7s and it'll fit the Audi S3 8V as well. So we're gonna bolt it all together and put it in. Okay, putting these seat rails on. So we got a Sparco seat. I went, I got some Sparco slide mounts. And these are the sliders we got from one of the Australian vendors. So we're just attaching them on here. So we've got one bolt already in. Just going to do this second bolt there, nice and easy. There we go. A bolt, a washer. through and then we got a nut and lock washer this side we've already got mounted up so we're ready to go here. Cool, that mounts. Then go on the side of the seat. And they just fit in the holes there and we can adjust the angle of the seat. We're gonna want it inclined a little bit. Um, so we'll just pop it in, we'll see how it feels on the, on the ground, and then we'll get it on the seat, the other seat base that uh, fits it into the, into the Audi. So we're just put, doing all these bolts up. Just finger tight, really. Just so we can, because we'll probably have to move stuff and adjust stuff around. And we got the front. This is the slider mechanism. We adjust it. These little holes on the side fit in there. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. That side's in. And this side we'll have to. It's kind of held in with spring tension up just this piece as it is, so we'll just line it up. Here we go. We now have a seat that slides. So he's pull up. We needed to get the mounts on the side brackets because I tried this directly onto the seat and it just didn't, it didn't clear the front. So uh, if we did one, there's a few sliders that you can get that just have the one adjustment on the side. Uh, that would have probably cleared okay, but we'll have to do, we just had to do this way. So you pull up and that releases the locking mechanism and then the sliders slide. Okay, we'll just test fit the angle and see how that feels. Now we're just checking the angle here. It's on the driveway, but we're gonna get the idea. That's the whole base there. Angle feels pretty good. I've got it set at one in the front and one down in the front. And I've got it one up in the back. I do like a very upright driving position um, when I'm racing. Just keeps it nice and upright, and don't get. I don't feel like I've got any back issues or anything with that. If I'm too reclined, I just feel like I can't uh, reach the steering wheel. Sometimes when you're really strapped in with your harness, because you can't, you know, lift your shoulders forward. Now we got to get the base on. So we're gonna line it up. I'm fairly tall, so we're gonna go for the uh, set it further back. So we got a front hole there on the base, and then that lines up side and then the back is going to line up not in that very bottom hole but in the one just above so we'll chuck a couple bolts in again get it finger tight to see how it all sits and uh, come back and then we'll take the stock seat out of the car and have a look and see how that's going to come out okay had to come inside too hot out there 
the Australian sun to just roast you. Okay, now we're gonna try to get this base on. We have supplied hardware. I come with decent hardware. All the sliders and base come with some nice stuff. Seatbelt mounting tab in there, so we'll put it aside. And we will do bolt and washer. I went to the records, I got a Mark 7 Golf seatbelt receiver, and I'll just be bolting this onto the side here. And that way we can just have that on. Now I have turned off the seatbelt dinging noise with an OBD-11, um, but uh, just to make sure we have all our wires plugged in, there's there. Now there's a couple other airbag lights on uh, plugs underneath the seat as well so we're gonna have a look at those there's a few resistors i've come across online to get to put into those uh, just whatever homage they need to block it so i'll have to go get a set of them uh, and see what needs to be done at that point but now next step we're going to take the other seat out and we'll pop this one in okay seats unbolted goes back you can see all the wiring there now there's just a tiny little plastic pin which you just pull up i did it with my fingernails pull it up and pull it out there and then look under here and you've got all these plugs which is the seat um you got a little tiny peg that's held in there so we'll just pull that out and we'll undo these wire connectors and the seat will just lift right out uh, they're all just a simple push see down the little, little tab they're all just a push and then lift. Sometimes you need two hands to get them out. I did most of them actually with one hand. And there's a little tiny black one, which has got a very small little push tab. So I used a little screwdriver to do that. Um, but that's it. And uh, a little gentle force, we pulled the little plug that sticks into the frame out. So that's all done. We'll tuck it up there. And now we will lift it out. Uh, I've seen them, people just remove them through the back hatch. So, uh, but I think in this case, we're just gonna try to get it out the back door. Now, it's a bit awkward, but I actually got out the front door. So, uh, but I think the easiest way to do it was when the back seat is out to just pull it straight out the back. But I got it through the front, it wasn't too hard. Seat's out, we're gonna test fit the other one now before we have to uh, tighten everything up, make sure it's all snug. Took a little bit of moving, not too much when you raise the steering wheel and push it in but uh, we got it in, so we're now just gonna bolt it up. So lots of room, the adjustment on this bracket is fantastic. You've got slotted areas here, plus on a Audi, the nut inside is actually moves forward and back. So you got lots of, super easy to adjust. So we're just gonna go and chuck some washers on all the factory bolts so it's just nice and uh, secure. And then we're gonna pop ourselves in and see what it feels like. So along the firewall, there's just not a lot of clearance to use the stock bolts and get in there with the uh, triple square. So I've just got some high tensile M10s uh, and we're putting those in their spot and then we can get on the, on the top with a wrench and tighten it up nice and easy. And just like that, the Sparco is in. Now it was pretty straightforward installation. I use Sparco. Uh, seat adapters. We got some mounts off a local Aussie manufacturer in Melbourne. Uh, he sells on eBay. I'll put the link in. I got some sliders off him as well. Nice and easy. It, it totally lines up fine. So this is the their kit for a uh, Golf, and of course fits an S3 as we know. And now it fit so fits an S3 RS3, ready to roll. Uh, adjustment on the seat, nice and simple. I think I'm gonna recline it a little bit, so raise it up just to get a bit more under thigh support. But all in all, fantastic install. Uh, through the OBD-11, I did disconnect the seatbelt chime uh, a while ago, so that's good, so you don't get a seatbelt light coming up on the dash. Uh, just working out how to do the airbag thing now, so that's the next step. So with the uh, 
I can find the fault that throws up and you can try to turn it off, but so far no luck. So a bit more research on that. Otherwise, there's a couple of things I've seen. We're getting resistors into the plugs, which are in the floor for the yellow airbag module to uh, trick it to think it's a seat, got the seat airbag in it. But uh, nice and easy setup that we'll be put installing harnesses on here as well. You can see I've got the eye bolt in there and down on the side here, I've got the little, you can't really see it, the shroth. Uh, there you go, right there, off there. So on this side here, you couldn't put an eye bolt. There's not enough clearance how to do that. And so my seat bolt receiver I used, I just went to the wrecker and got one off a, uh, a wrecked uh, Mark 7 Golf. So yeah, simple bolt on, but not a bad install. Uh, that is obviously the crotch strap. And now that mounts to, uh, you should be mounting it as per instructions to the floor and going underneath thigh bolts and then shoulders. Uh, there is the harness bars available. The Volkswagen Golf Club Sport apparently fits this car. They're not cheap to get from Volkswagen, but there's uh, probably some options to get made up there. And they attach to the seat tabs that hold the rear seat in place, uh, the, up, the backs on the side, so. Really holds in well and uh, great for track days. Like I said, I'm not too worried about the airbag thing because I'm going to be taking this out and putting the other one back in as soon as I finish up the track. But uh, weight wise, I didn't have the scales. The kids broke my scales, but less than half the weight of the factory seat. So fantastic weight savings on the seat. Seat is in, all is good. It bolts in real nice and easy. Still a little bit of adjustment. I wouldn't mind reclining it back one set of bolt holes, but other than that, fine. Uh, the airbag light does come on, but speaking with a local Volkswagen legend guy, Harding, a 4.7 ohm half watt resistor, uh, which you can get at most of the little electronic technical shops, placed into the air, one of the modules on the airbag. The plug will uh, trick it into thinking there's a, the airbag is there. So might look into doing that, but said we're only gonna run this basically for a track day then take it out so I can live with having an airbag light on the dash. But uh, yeah, just uh, check with your local laws and see what you can do about having your seat in uh, and removing airbags because some places you can't have it. But all in all, easy install, uh, great parts. I'm gonna put the link for the seat mount uh, in the description. And of course, uh, they're just Sparco rails and then the generic slider, which I got from the same guys I got the seat mount from. But all in all, looking forward to a track day, not sliding around, being able to put my harness in, not running, uh, being able to run my hands device and uh, feeling a lot more secure. Yeah.